So walking in, this is what the bedroom looks like. Our bedroom is fairly plain and simple, so we're just gonna get into it. So right here, you can see this is our dresser, and this is also my backdrop in my videos. So this lamp right here, I got this, I believe it was at Ross. I got this candle at Marshall's. These flowers are actually not real. I just put water in there so that it looks like it's real, but they're not. And the flowers are from Amazon. The vase is from Dollar Tree. And I always get questions on these two right here. So I just printed out a few quotes from Pinterest on just regular old paper. And I just put them in these frames. I forget where these frames are from, but you can put them obviously in any frames that you want. Then I have my laptop. I have a MacBook Air, which if you're gonna do YouTube videos, I honestly do not suggest it because it doesn't store many photos and videos and stuff, but that's what I have. And then that's Chris's alarm clock. And then we have this mirror, which is a lifesaver. So this mirror is actually from iHome. And as you can see right now, I'm gonna turn it on. It has like a little ring light. So I like to use this while I'm filming sometimes or while I'm getting ready. You're also able to connect your phone via Bluetooth and listen to music because it has a speaker on the bottom and you can also charge your phone and everything like that. So I thought that was really neat and they sent it over and I use it all the time. <laughs> So that is pretty much everything on our dresser. Our actual dresser was kind of like a hand-me-down. This one was Chris's old dresser. All we did was we painted it and we added these silver knobs which are from Home Depot and I feel like it came out a lot better. It was like a dark brown, but I feel like this goes more with the room. Then moving on this way you can see me right there again. So this is my nightstand. We used to have two but I was talking to you guys in my night routine how we got a brand new mattress from Lull. We used to have a queen size and now we upgraded to a king size because we wanted a little bit more room which is why we do not have a nightstand on Chris's side but it was well worth it because this mattress is super comfortable. We've been sleeping in it for like I don't know, maybe two, three weeks, maybe even more than that. And it's amazing. It's super, super comfy. It's memory foam and everything. I'm talking about it and I haven't even showed you guys, but it's this mattress right here. It's so comfortable and it was well worth having to get rid of another nightstand because we sleep a lot better. But like I said in my previous video, my night routine, I'm gonna have a link down below to where you can purchase a mattress if you're interested, super comfy. Just unboxing it was really fun because this entire mattress fit in like a small box and it was like, what? But yeah, I'm gonna have coupon codes and everything for Lowell down below, but just know that this bed has been a lifesaver, especially for Chris and his back because he's always Always had back problems so yeah like I said nightstand we only have one because of the king size bed that we have now so on here all I have is my phone just for now because I didn't know where else to put it I also have this lamp here this is from Walmart it just turns on and it's like a really bright light I hardly use it but if I'm reading or something or I'm on my laptop I just turn it right on this mirror here I'm obsessed with we have two of them but since we do not have a nightstand on that side, we only have one. But this mirror is actually from TJ Maxx. I got it around two months into when we had just moved in. And it was on sale for, I think, $29.99. So I was like, okay, I need to pick up two. I was planning on hanging this instead of having it leaning against the nightstand. But I guess we'll just leave it like that since we're going to move out in a few months anyway. I also wanted to get a headboard, but we haven't gotten to that yet, which is why it looks super plain and simple on this side. But so far, that's what we have going on. Our nightstand here is from Ikea. It was actually the wooden one, but again, I painted it gray so it can kind of go a little bit better with the theme of the room. And then here, I just have some of my school books and then I also have my memory cards in the little corner right there. I also added this knob here, which was also from Home Depot because this drawer actually didn't come with a knob. Or actually it did, but I didn't like the way that it looked, so I just replaced it. But that is the nightstand. And then our bed, I already mentioned where our actual mattress is from, but pretty much everything on the bed is from Walmart except for this pillow here. But I got the three Euro pillows from Walmart. I need to put covers on those, but 
yeah. Then this comforter is also from Walmart. And then this pillow is actually a Vera Wang pillow, but we found it at Home Goods for super, super cheap. And we also have pillows behind the Euro pillows that are also from Walmart, of course. And then our curtains, these are from Target. And I got these specifically because of the fact that they're super sheer, but they still kind of cover a little bit so that the people who are outside can't see inside. But I like these because they act as a filter for when I'm filming. So you can see it's fairly bright in here. So if I put these, it kind of adds more of a soft effect and it's not harsh lighting coming in directly for my videos. So that is why I use these curtains. And I've used these ever since I lived at my parents' house. And they're very, very handy, especially for filming and as you can see we also have you can see me right here <laughs> but we also have floor to ceiling mirrors which also provides lots of light while I'm filming and obviously behind those doors is our closet which is completely full so I'm not even going to show you guys that but that is how it looks you know pretty much when you're walking in to the room there's a lot of I noticed there's a lot of mirrored items in here like that has mirror this right here and then our yeah you get what i'm saying but that's pretty much everything also our rug here is from target i got it a while ago but that is basically where i got all of our stuff i just wanted to show you guys what i'm working with when i'm filming my videos and stuff just so you guys can see that i don't have a large space but i kind of work with what i have and of course i wanted to show you guys that i do in fact film in our bedroom so now that i've showed you guys kind of where everything is at i'm going to move on to the second part of this video where i explain to you a little bit more how i set up my filming area and i'll be talking just a little bit about the kind of equipment and stuff that i use as well i will say the second part of this video is a little bit slower and it's a little more slow pace but bear with me and i hope you guys Still enjoy the second part and also this was a fairly quick kind of rundown of our bedroom because our bedroom is not complete like i said i hope you still enjoyed it <laughs> when i film videos this is pretty much all that you guys see you don't see my bedroom you don't see the mess that i may have in the room this is all that you guys see in the background which i think is great because i don't have to worry about cleaning up the room or anything if i want to film although I prefer to have it clean because my mind's a little more focused when our bedroom is clean. So I have this little table here. It was originally wooden, but I painted it white and used my marble contact paper on top. So this one's a TV tray. It just opens up and it unfolds just like that. So I use this table to set up my mirror and to place my makeup brushes and some of my makeup products as well. So I have both cameras going right now, but this is my filming setup. So I use that table for my makeup brushes and to set up my mirror which was also on our dresser and then i got this chair here from ikea and i obviously use that to sit down while i'm filming i also have my laptop here ready to go because i have a program that allows me to see myself while i'm filming you can see the movement here it's a little bright but you can see the movement i didn't used to have this program before with my vlogging camera so this is really helpful when filming all you can really see is my bun but yeah my laptop is plugged in to my camera which is in front of me right here the mic is from amazon i believe it was like 30 bucks my camera is a canon t5i my tripod is also from amazon and then i told you guys where the mirror is from there will be links to everything that i can find down below in the description box but yeah this is what it looks like for me when i'm facing the camera while filming so i just put my makeup brushes right here and then I put my products that I'm using on my bed, and that's it.